so uh, welcome to this module as of now we have studied uh, the introduction part of cereals what are cereals from which family they belong so cereals they are the unique grains and almost all the carbohydrate composition i mean calories they are being provided by cereals and 50% of the proteins that is provided by cereals cereals actually they are unique grains unique in the sense they are having so dense nutrient components which are required by our body and uh, they are grown and we are we are actually very good in the production of cereals we means we means here like in india the production of cereals is good so what are cereals we have discussed earlier also cereals they are they have been derived from the word series the roman goddess series so goddess of grains so the cereals they are actually grain they are the seeds they are the starchy grains seeds of the plants which are suitable to be used as foods cereals they are being used in making lots and lots and variety of i mean foods like for breakfast and cereals they can be converted into flours so we can further convert these flours in the form of chapatis bread biscuits pies buns burgers so many products and uh, various types of meals the, that they are prepared by cereals itself then breads so many types of breads the texture of the bread that is all because of the unique properties of cereals then pastas the unique cereal wheat its variety uh, i mean the uh, there is a specific variety that is durum variety which is being used in the preparation of pastas then so many starches they are being derived from cereals itself as cereals they are rich in carbohydrates so moving further i will be discussing uh, this is the first part and in my second part i'll be discussing about the types of cereals so see you till then you can go through the lectures regarding cereals what are cereals and the introduction of cereals thank you